Good morning, everyone. I am getting ready to go to the beach and I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and do like beach routine today because I really want to inject some sunshine and blue sky and palm trees and we're gonna just make it a beach day. So I'm taking you guys with me and I thought, let's go ahead and do like a routine. So I just jumped out of bed. I just finished washing my face with my raw honey rice powder and apple cider vinegar. That's been my favorite morning time face wash. For like sunblock and stuff, I've got everything here that I'll show you that I'm taking with me to the beach today. But first, um, I wanted to show you like what I do to my hair before I go to the beach because I do have kind of a, a little routine I like to do. You know, whenever possible, because my hair is naturally dry, I like to do some kind of you know, treatment on it. So there's like no better time to do it than if you're gonna be hanging out in the sun at the beach, get some, you know, oils on your hair and they can heat up in the sun and it can be like a, a hot oil treatment at the same time while you're playing on the beach. So I have a couple of oils here that I actually am about to apply here. This is, oh wait, that's sweet almond. No, I want avocado, hold on one sec. I mean, you can use sweet almond if you want, but really avocado is the one that I like to use. Avocado oil and argan oil are my two favorite hair oils. Oh, well, of course coconut. Someone asked me about coconut oil and I forget that I don't really talk about it that much, but yeah, I use coconut oil all the time for, you know, makeup removal and all kinds of stuff. So I just warm up a little of that oil and just kind of run it through my hair and really just trying to focus on, you know, some of the dry ends. My bangs are usually pretty dry. And just get that all worked in. So that's gonna be my hair oil treatment for the day. And if you guys want really super, like unbelievably delicious smelling hair at the beach, I've got something to show you. And I've already talked about this once before in the past, but this is Minoy oil from Tahiti. It's coconut oil. It's all natural, real coconut oil. Someone asked me, well, it's liquid. Is that real coconut oil or is it synthetic? It's it's Hawaii, so at room temperature, all coconut oil out here stays liquid. Um, but anyways, it is delicious. This is the vanilla one, and it smells like amazing, just yummy tanning oil scent. But if you put that in your in your hair too, you know, because it's a coconut oil, it it really makes for a nice kind of hair treatment too at the beach. So that takes care of hair. And then for lips, lip treatment is really important if you're going to the beach. I like to use All Natural Shea Butter. It's a nice, thick, rich coating. And this is basically like a giant tub of lip balm for me. And I've been using this for a long time. But I just get a little bit of that out, apply it to my lips, and it you know keeps them moisturized and um, healthy and plump all day long. Or um, this is another, this is like my own little home creation. And I'm gonna just apply this one right now. Just get a tiny bit on my finger there. And there we go. You can use a Q-tip too. So this is a mixture of vanilla, let's see, I use vanilla extract, shea butter, cocoa butter, and coconut oil. So I just made my own body butter basically is what that is. And then of course you need your beach bag. So I've got my Victoria's Secret beach bag today. It's just a little canvas bag. It was, you know, one of those free like gift with purchase sort of things. Um, so you've got to pack your bag with, don't forget your sunblock, so we've got our uh, DeVita Solar, let's see, Solar Body Block SPF 30. I don't know why I can't remember that name correctly. I get it mixed up with this one. This one is the, for face, so that one's for body. This one is the Solar Protective Moisturizer SPF 30 for face. It's just a little bit lighter, um, well they're both super light and they feel really good on the skin. They're more like lotion rather than like a thick heavy sunblock, you know? But the one for the face is just, I don't know, I feel like it's even lighter, you know? Very lightweight, very non-greasy, which is awesome for the beach. Of course, don't forget your bikini, I'm gonna pack that. And sunglasses, I like my Maui Gems, you guys see these all the time, those are my favorite sunglasses. And they are expensive, but I feel like if you live near the water and you're around glare all the time, like really heavy duty glare, it's a good idea to invest in good sunglasses. And then of course, if you like to read on the beach, don't forget to bring your books. These are the two I'm bringing today. This is The Oxygen, um, it's by Tosca Reno, The Butt Book. This is a really good book for, uh, you know, exercises and workout ideas for working your gluteus maximus. And medius and minimus, of course. And then we have the skinny bitch, which is, it sounds weird saying that because I don't, I don't cuss, but <laughs> I'm just, that's the name of the book. But anyways, um, there, there is swearing in there, but I find this actually to be, so far, kind of an entertaining book, although there's some chapters that I've had to skip because 
uh, it talks about animals and in the food industry and, you know, some of their treatment and it's like, uh, okay, I don't need to read that. I've already, you know, I know what goes on. I don't need to read it in detail. So there's a chapter I had to skip in there, but otherwise I think it's kind of an entertaining book. And if you like to wear sun hats, don't forget that. I may wear this one or, or this one. All right, enough chitter chattering. We've got to head out to the beach. West Maui Mountains. There they are. So currently we're passing through Wailuku Town. So if you were to keep going straight, Michael, where does that take them? Yao. Yao Valley. Yao Valley, yep. Nice up there, doesn't look like it's raining. I know, it's a beautiful day. I'm having my almond uh, strawberry yogurt right now. It's actually pretty good. It's more tart and not quite as creamy as the whole soy company, but it's still good. Having my Dole banana from Ecuador. And here's the other side of the West Maui Mountains. Here we are, on Apollo Beach. Give you a 360 degree rotation here. So we've got all the hotels back there. They stretch all the way down the beach. Michael's preparing to go metal detecting. And I am preparing for a good time of laying out. And again, don't forget your sunscreen. I'm wearing my SPF 30. It's a beautiful morning, the birds are singing, I'm enjoying the sun, and I was just laying here thinking about how I used to come here all the time. Like, years ago, I used to have a regular swim, and there's several buoys, there's like a line of buoys out here, and I would go out every morning at 8 a.m. and do my regular swim, and I'd swim out and around one of the buoys, and I recall one morning there was a shark attack and I hadn't heard of it yet and I didn't see any signs up yet and it happened like, I don't know, like six or seven in the morning and here I come at eight o'clock, like an hour later and go for my regular swim, like almost right in the same place where the shark attack happened. But you know, the shark wasn't like trying to attack. I think the lady said that she had ran into it while she was swimming and it just kind of like flipped around and bit her shoulder and then took off. So I think she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. The, it, it is the ocean, so there's no surprise that there's sharks out there. That's their home. So there's beautiful lanai in the distance, nice and clear over there. There's people out there playing in the water, doing their stand-up paddling. And don't forget to flip, by the way. If you lay out, you don't want to lay on one side too long. Um, so I am just about to get back into my book here. This is The Butt Book by Toscarino, one of my favorite fitness women out there. Uh, this is how to build a non-cellulate and fat-free butt in nine weeks. I've actually had this book forever and I got some of my favorite yeah. butt workout exercises from this book. Anyway, so there's like, well, first of all, there's like a ton of really inspirational pictures in here. Talks about, our, you know, our natural shape and how to change your shape, basically, through exercise and eating clean. And where are the exercises here? There's like a ton of really awesome exercises in here. I can find them. There we go. So we've got our lunges, um, you know, like the reverse knee lifts, leg lifts, all kinds of stuff. So this is my personal favorite book here. And then towards the back here, it talks more about eating clean. Tell me about your day so far. Well, I'm thinking that I want to get a new bikini. <laughs> Kanapali Beach, Christmas break. This is the busiest it's been, or that I've seen it in a very long time, all the way down the beach there. Blue umbrellas, blue umbrellas. <laughs> just, everyone likes to be right up at the water, and especially at this little like uh, little inlet here. Yeah, if you want, I mean. Uh, yeah, you can go back towards the back, or you know, there's uh, the volleyball net back there, and there's the other side down there you can go to. And way down there is Whaler's Village. That guy. Very serious. Very focused. Where's my little pet? There he is. We are taking off. It is just shy of 11 o'clock. So I'd show you the back view of the beach here. Fully crowded now, and it's only going to get busier. There goes the trolley. Did you ever ride it? I did. Yeah, did you I, really? Yeah, I was almost going to get a job up here in Kanapali uh, years ago. <laughs>
Yeah, so tell me, you didn't have any trouble finding employment? Not at all. There is employment everywhere. You just have to want it. You just gotta show up. Yeah, you up. can't be lazy. Go out there and get it, and it's no problem. It's like waiting for you. Do you need anything from whalers? No, oh, I know Sephora's in there, but uh, nope. Don't need anything. I think the first piece of makeup that I buy again is gonna be at IMAX, if I even buy a piece of makeup there. We'll oh. see. I'm excited to see if you get tempted. Enough. I know, it's gotta be something really amazing. Part of my beach routine is to come into the Lahaina Cannery Mall and go to Jean's Warehouse, see if there's anything for me in here. Outfit of the day, tank top, jean shorts, nothing new there. I'm going to try these on though. Tiffany blue tank tops. Okay, I really like this color a lot. I feel very, very beachy right now. That looks good. Oh, that's good. 